Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the new Jones Meteorite Binding. I rode these bindings at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day, warmer temps, some wind, there was lumpy chunder snow, heavy corduroy, little bit of ice, and I rode them with my K2 Thraxxus boots on my Telos Mike Ranquit snowboard. When it comes to the adjustability on this binding, you have the standard flip cams that you can unscrew and just slide the strap forward or backwards depending on how you want it to fit on the boot. It's nothing crazy. It's pretty meat and potatoes. A lot of other bindings using that as well. Then what you also have is you have the bushings here, which you can replace to soft, medium, or hard, depending on how you want it. One of the other pieces of adjustability is you can flip this strap from the surf mode to the free ride mode. So if you want it more soft and loose, you go to surf mode. If you want it more precision based and powerful, you flip it to the free ride mode. You have your standard forward lean adjustment on the high back. Otherwise, this binding is pretty meat and potatoes. You really don't have a lot of features with it to work on the adjustability. So, you know, what you see is what you get. With the heel straps, you have two options, as I've already mentioned, between surf mode and free ride mode. I opted to ride them in surf mode just so that I could have a little more play in there. This is that old school style of strap, so the internals are molded to the shape, then you got the padding, and then you got the fabric on the outside. These do break in, they tend to stretch just a little bit. Obviously, I didn't ride them long enough to have them stretch on me, but you do get more padding on the outside, so when you switch them around, you can actually notice how they ride, whether you're in surf mode or free ride mode. With the toe strap, it's that new age rubber. It really grips. There are ridges on the inside of this. It really does contour to the boot shape perfectly well. This is the right direction that Jones and now needed to go to with these straps. These grip the boot well, they do what you want them to, and they just stay in place. They do their job, they climb well, you don't have to worry about them. They really just work super well. You do have a one finger quick release on the heel, which is nice. With the toe, you don't have that, but you can grab it from the front, one finger release that as well. I'm a little bit of a stickler. I like seeing release tabs that match both ratchets. With it not, just seems counterintuitive. Just put a little tab there, it'll work. But I never had these slip. They stayed locked in place. They did their job. They feel secure, they feel strong. I'm not saying that they're gonna last forever, but these seem very, very durable. The highbacks have a ton of play to them. So when you drive back into it, you can really feel just that give on the outsides of them. Down the center, it's a little bit stiffer, which will help you when you're doing a heel transition. Now with the forward lean adjuster, it's a little tight. You gotta use a little more pressure than you think just to get that to release. Then you gotta unscrew it a little bit just to get that to slide down. Like I said, it's tight, these are new. They'll probably break in over time if you use them a lot, although I'm one of those guys that once you set the forward lean, you forget about it. I'd hope that you are too and you're not playing with it every other lap, changing a couple clicks because you need more angulation or whatever. Overall, it's still a high back. It does what you need it to do. It's just softer flexing. So first and foremost, I rode these with the surf setting, so there was a little more forward flex in the binding. You could flip it to free ride mode if you wanted a little stiffer. This is supposed to be a softer binding. I'd say it's just past middle of the road. It's a little stiffer than you would think. There wasn't a lot of lateral flex and some of that can be due in part to the skate tech that they utilize from now bindings because Jones and now bindings are interchangeable, let's be honest with each other. But it just doesn't have that lateral flex even with the strap in the surf setting. So it feels like it's more powerful. You can really drive into this binding if you need to. You could swap out the bushings if you wanted to and go to a softer bushing with the surf setting if you wanted it to be a little more playful. But what I noticed is that lateral flex, just with the shape of the base tray and everything, you don't get a lot of it in there. You feel really locked in and it's a little bit more powerful than surfy. The ride feel of this binding is very smooth and consistent. You just know what you're gonna get with it. You don't have to worry about it. That skate tech works optimally. You can really just feel it leveraging from toe to heel as you're going back and forth from your carves. 
that's nice. It gives you more power down into the edge, in my opinion. It makes for better carves. Now, like I said, it's smooth and consistent. You get on this binding and after a few laps, you realize what you're gonna get and that's just how it performs the rest of the time that you're on it. Who's this binding for? The All Mountain Rider. Just someone that's gonna do it all and needs one binding to get it done. I really like now Skate Tech and I'm glad that Jones adopted it. You just get a different power dynamic when you're driving from toe to heel in there. Now with that said, the overall flex of this binding is stiffer than what the product description would lead you to believe. A lot of that's due from the lack of lateral play as well as this old school heel strap. Now I wrote it in the surf setting, which means that you do get more forward play into that strap, but on the free ride setting, that's only gonna make it stiffer. With it being that older style strap with more material in there, it just contours in, it felt more locked in on the instep rather than just cradling it and allowing you to flex through the boot when you use one of those new age heel straps. Is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. It's just a different drive and power dynamic when you're actually locked into the binding. Comparable bindings, the K2 formula, the Ride C8, the Union Force. This has been my review of the Jones Meteorite. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own a pair? Are you gonna buy a pair? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this binding. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Your membership gives us the support we need to grow out what we're doing over here. I could tell you more, but I do have a video over there that explains it better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.